see this. <gasps> okay, what does it say? It says, welcome home and go Red Wings. Daddy Zach is going to love this. Is Dr. Castillo coming to the party, too? No, that's not what I'm saying. It's not that I don't appreciate your fine hospitality. What I'm saying is that it's time for you to maybe get Give me my discharge papers. Thank you so much. I think I'm checking out. Thank you, Nerva. You're the greatest. Hey. Hey. I don't blame you for wanting to be in a rush to get out of here. Oh, no. It's a few more minutes. We gotta talk some business. This is about me and Kendall. It's about me. Offering you something you can't refuse. Yeah. Good morning. Apparently a very good one for somebody. I mean, somebody. it's morning, yes? Yes. I mean, because I, I didn't sleep at all last night, and it's because of you. Hi. Lucy, good morning. Good morning. I, well, I thought it was a good morning. The, the dark sedan. Dark sedan. Yeah. Is that a passport or something? I think I left my code book um, in the it's car. immigration. They're across the street. Oh, really? Yeah. Are they following you guys that closely? Well, it's lightened up a little bit. I mean, they stop by like once a week. There was this guy named Agent Trumbull was after us when we first got together, and he was pretty rounded. Wow. Well, I, I just stopped by to see if I could take Kathy to breakfast. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't. I dropped her at a play date. Oh. Oh. Well, that's too bad. Um, I guess I should go then. I don't want to make Kara uncomfortable. Well, it's kind of hard to do when she's not even here. That's why this is such a, you know, a bad idea, because she didn't come home last night. Oh. Where do you think she is? Where she shouldn't be. With David. Dad, that's horrible. I'm so yeah. sorry. And speaking of David, do you remember we were talking about you saying there was somebody else with you in that room where he kept you? Um, yes. Um, all I could remember was um, a woman's hand. Well, I have a pretty good idea of whose it was. said Jillian's name in forever, and now she's front and center. Because of a few twisted words from Hayward. Hmm, not just words. People have risen from their graves. All right, I mean, that's true, and, and that's a lot. And that's, that's enough to, to, to make people wonder what if and, and pray, and, and... I mean, I get that, but it's, it's, it's how David is using their grief it's, it's just so sick. But we have to ask the what if. Because it is possible. It's not. Not in this case. No. David does not have Jillian doped up somewhere. Yeah, but... If he, he was... did, he wouldn't be dropping little innuendos. He would have carried her into our wedding. Because the man does not want us to be happy even for one second. You're right. I just... I know what I went through thinking about Leo. And you felt the same way about Jillian. I did. And we talked about this. They're part of us. But right here, right now, I, I know. I, I know that you love me. And I feel the same way about you. Yeah, I guess I just need to trust that. David put Jillian in my head. Well, you did the right thing, and you told me because he wanted you to sit on it, let it fester inside you. But by telling me, by trusting me, you take all the power away. Yeah, well, I guess I'd learned my lesson. <laughs> yeah, well, we both made our fair share of mistakes. But it's important that we continue to be honest with each other about them. Look at us, we've grown. <laughs> We're definitely not the same people we were when we were with other people. Because this is our time now. What's this? 
just open it. Okay, it's a piece of property. I put I put a bid on. It's it's um, something that I hope will be able to house the Cambius and Fusion offices together. It's beautiful. You think? Yeah. Perfect. Dixie, think about it. It had to be Greenlee on that gurney next to you. I mean, it would make sense that she would have been with you while David had you trapped. I, mean, I guess it could be. I don't remember, though. I just remember an overwhelming sense of dread. Well, for our purposes, could you narrow it down to, like, just intense anxiety, just for a sec? As much as I was scared for what was happening to me, I think I was more terrified about what was happening to the woman next to me because I think that David was damaging her in some irreparable way. Which would make sense. I wasn't around Greenlee a lot when she got back to Pine Valley, but from what I understand, he really had her under his thumb. No, it's just Greenlee is not clicking. Well, maybe it'll click later. Maybe. I'm sorry. I guess I should just be grateful you were able to escape from the little science experiment. Yeah. Some of us were very lucky to escape with our lives. It's amazing. Hayward spends his entire life trying to convince the world he's the angel of mercy. It's a good thing a few of us know different. You're worried about Kara? Yeah. She's got to see him for the monster he is before it's too late. I just cannot get over how innovative and groundbreaking your research is. I mean, all the lives that you're going to save, that you have saved, that you... It's... it's... Thank you. I am honored to be a part of this project with you. And I am happy to have you on board. But if your brother opens his mouth to the FDA, it might not be a project. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised that he's letting his uh, personal feelings interfere with his professional judgment. His feelings for Kendall. Right. Believe me, I get it. You know, Zach shows up all of a sudden. Now, I suppose I could have warned him about it, but honestly, I don't think there ever would have been a great time for him to hear it. Yeah, I don't agree with what you did, but I understand it. And I understand how much you and Griff mean to each other. And frankly, I think it's quite a beautiful relationship. I don't want to come between that. Thanks. I'm behind you 100% on this. And once I talk to my brother, he will be too. See you around. I want you to run the clinic we're going to open in the abandoned house you used to hide in. Kendall told you about that. Kendall tells me everything. So you're doing this for me. What am I doing for you? It's a gesture of my appreciation. There are no strings. But you won't mind if I sign on against David's project. You're a big boy. You can make your own choices. You know, I have issues with the man. I have issues with him, too. This is much bigger than that. The work that's being done. I know what's being done. I want nothing to do with it. 